Let's talk about building an aerobic base. To keep this program approachable and to ensure success, we want to make sure that we take the time to build an aerobic base. And we're going to do that in this program by monitoring how we breathe while we're running. It might come as a surprise, but a lot of our running is going to be spent at a slower pace than you might think. Even the top running athletes spend most of their time running relatively slowly compared to how fast that they can run. In this program, we categorize our breathing and our ability to converse with someone or no one by in a couple of categories. Very easy, easy, easy medium, and medium. I have Steven from Crux Chiropractic here today to help demonstrate what some of these zones look like. So the first that we're going to talk about is the easy pace, or the very easy pace. The very easy pace is categorized by the ability to be nose breathing the entire time that you're running, have a conversation, and even sing a song. So Steven's going to demonstrate that for us right now. So we've chosen the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So I could have an entire conversation with Jim here. Happens to be his birthday today. Um, or I could just sing you the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So for the first one, I'm actually, I can sing it at my very easy pace. So the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. And I could go through the entire song at that, pa at that pace. To demonstrate the easy pace, we're going to crank up the treadmill just a little bit. The easy pace is characterized by nose breathing again and being able to carry on a conversation. However, because of the pace and because of the air that we need to sing, singing becomes really difficult. And this is something that you can play with while you're running. So Itsy Bitsy Spider is going to sound a little rough. The Itsy Bitsy, the, I can only speak it, really. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. At this point, I can still hang out with my mouth closed. Still easy pace for me, but I can't really sing at this point. So the next pace and the top pace that we're going to have in the program is going to be the easy medium pace. And the easy medium pace still allows us to nose breathe, something we want to concentrate, and really the most important factor in our running. But conversation starts to become a little bit harder. Words or ideas might be able to be submitted, but it, it's going to become maybe a little bit choppy, just a little bit gaspy. So I'm still pretty comfortable at this pace, although I'm moving a little bit more. And you'll notice that in between sentences, I have to take a second to take a deep breath in and continue the rest of the sentence. But I can still have a conversation. So I could speak through the itsy bitsy spider, but I couldn't stop. I, I couldn't go through the entire phrase without stopping. The last pace that we're going to demonstrate is the medium pace. And we put this in the program for reference because once we get into this pace, we know that we want to slow down just a little bit. It's characterized by a fun, fast pace, something that feels exciting to be at, but not necessarily a sprint. Typically, it's pretty hard to, to breathe only through your nose and to carry on a conversation. So be careful when you get to this point. And it's OK if you do get to this point once in a while. Just know that it's time to slow down and back it up just a little bit. So at this point, I can only speak in a couple words at a time. I can still breathe in through my nose, but then out as always through my mouth. I couldn't keep up the nose breathing at all. But when I finished this run, I'd still say, hey, that was, that was fun. I had a good time. If I went much faster, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> those are the four paces that we're going to use to help you build your aerobic base. When in doubt, slowing down is going to help you more than speeding it up. That includes walking, when, even sometimes when you might uh, be prescribed to run.